way long ago, you played Pac-Man up to a certain point. It would take an hour to get where you want. You try this one thing, you die, you have to record it and play again. Everybody gets to cheat nowadays and use main. Um, Racket Bass. Richie coined the term a long time ago. In other words, when I had to learn how to play games, I had to learn it, what we call, we had to do it in the raw. You know, there wasn't any technology to help us. There was well, and that, um, a few particular games there was. On Donkey Kong, there was, you know, there wasn't any technology to help us. There was well, and that, um, a few particular games there was. On Donkey Kong, there was, no, there wasn't any technology to help us. There was well, and that, um, a few particular games there was. On Donkey Kong, there was. We have three boards in this game. Uh, we have a Miss Pac-Man, a Pac-Man, and a Pac-Man Junior. He didn't want to have three different games, and he wanted all the originals. So we have them all hooked up, and then we have, of course, the Rack Advance switches up here. You got the Freeze, and you got the Rack Advance. And then for, this is for the, uh, what is this one for, Junior Pac-Man? The Rack Pac Advance for Miss Pac and for the Freeze. Pac Why don't you explain this all to us? All right. Well, it's real simple. I mean, a lot of players now, they go on main, and they do this kind of, you know, advanced playing so they can figure out boards and strategies. I've always been old school. I've, we've done this for over 20 years. We've 20 years, right. set up the rack advance and the freezes on, on our own games, and it'll be similar to doing it on main, perhaps, and uh, that we're doing it on the original. Right. It's 1983, and I want to try something on the split screen that I think will work. I got to play five hours to get to the split screen. I played five hours. I got there. It didn't work. Damn it. I got to put a quarter in and I got to play five more hours to get there again. Right. Well, it's real simple. I mean, a lot of players now, they go on main and they do this kind of, you know, advanced playing so they can figure out boards and strategies. I've always been old school. I, we've done this for over 20 years. We've 20 years, right. set up the rack advance and the freezes on, on our own games, and it'll be similar to doing it on main, perhaps, and uh, that we're doing it on the original. Right. Okay. When did the kill screen get discovered? Sometime after 1980. Yeah. <laughs> Relatively safe bet. First time I saw it was on a rack advance. Not, not, a, not, a, not an actual game. If you rack advance on an original Pac-Man machine, the time it would take to get to the split screen after pressing the start button would be a little over 17 minutes. Billy Mitchell owned his own Pac-Man machine and had access to the rack advance and free switches, just as Chris Ira described. The idea that Billy Mitchell or Chris Ira played for hours every time they wanted to explore the split screen or try something new is complete BS. Billy Mitchell was lying to the audience at the NERG panel by projecting the views of one of his supporters, John Studley, as if they were his own. Sad. And. Pathetic. Pathetic.